Boys, today we're taking on the 14-3 Minnesota Vikings. Coming off a game of the year, pretty much, against the 5-1 Miami Dolphins. <sighs> not looking forward to this game. I'm not looking forward to this game for the simple reasons that it's another tough game. But this one is Baker Mayfield and the Minnesota Vikings. They're 4-3, okay? I shouldn't be laughing. They are a good team, and they're going to be a good team in this game. Even though they're led by Baker Mayfield, who, let's be honest, is definitely not the top 10 quarterback, I would say, in the NFL right now. But, you know, what? actually, no, he is. Right now, in real life, he is, but not in Madden, okay? In real life, he's actually a top 10 quarterback. What is happening in life? All right, first play of the game. We're going to start off with a pass play. You already know I love this pass play. It's a... Very consistent. Okay. It's a very consistent pass play, but I stopped talking because I was trying to focus, and, well, that did not go the way I wanted to go. So let's go ahead and get right into a run play here, boys. All right, second down and 10. Let's get a run game going with Joe Mixon. Get to the outside. There we go. Broken tackles. Let's go, baby. Let's go. All right, first down and 10 here, boys. We do got T. Higgins out there, which is awesome. We got our starters back in. Last week, we dealt with some injuries, and we're going deep. <clears throat> okay. Okay. I don't know what's going on there. Because Joe has the throw power to hit that ball. I don't know why that ball was still underthrown. I mean, T had him beat. T definitely had him beat. And if Joe would have thrown that ball a little farther... I mean, it was a good play by the corner, actually. Ah, that's crazy. I mean, it was a really good throw by the cornerback. But still, I feel like T could have had that. Uh, T was open. It, I don't really regret the plays in the pass play because it was a good pass play. It was just a really good play by the corner. All right, they got Kareem Hunt. They still got Jay Jettis. They obviously have Baker Mayfield. They have, still have TJ Hawkinson. They still have a pretty dang good team, man. I mean, there's a reason why they're four and one, right? There's a reason why they're four and one right now. I say like four and three right now because they still got a good team. But come on, get after him, incomplete. Let's go. Are they gonna go for it? I would. They're not going for this. That's a that's an interesting decision. I mean, don't me wrong. I'm happy they're not going for it, but that is interesting. I guess there it is the beginning of the game now. All right, second drive to redeem ourselves after that first drive's cluster fluff. I'm going to hit a play-action pass here. Throwing across the middle. Let's go, Joe Mixon. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, listen. We don't have to do everything perfect. We just got to win this game, okay? That's pretty much all this is today. Just get this W today. He's a non-conference opponent. So I'm not, like, too upset slash scared, you know? But... Just, just play good football, man. And I'm trying to get this offense going quickly. Because our offense has been getting going the last couple weeks. And I want to continue that strive moving forward for us, you know. Especially going on some tougher matchups. And Hopkins got hurt on the play. Fantastic. All right, Hopkins went to the tunnel. So, we'll see how he ends up feeling after this. Going up to the right-hand side. There we go, baby. Nice run by Joe. I don't exactly check how many, like, rushing stats Joe has, but I feel like he has some really good rushing stats with me. <laughs> I've been a lot more mobile with Joe Burrow, I will say. I think, I honestly, I don't think it's a problem. I think it's actually a good thing. And he will not be able to turn the game. He has a torn labrum. Okay. Okay, that's not good. That's, that's definitely not good. All right, we're taking shots today, boys. We're taking shots today. Listen, if you thought this was going to be a Winnie Hutt Jr. offense, you thought differently. You better be thinking differently because we are taking shots down the field today. Third and ten here. There we go. Dottaroni, Jamar Chase, not bad. All right, we're going to run the ball straight up the middle here. Try to get Joe Mixon another tutty for the year. And, I mean, reality-wise, we're trying to get a tutty, period. We're not trying... To not trying to just get Joe Mixon to tutty, but now T. Higgins got hurt. 
We just lost both of our starting wide receivers for this team right now. All right, I want to run play nonetheless. All right, how what what's going on, T? Okay, no update yet. Well, we gotta get a tutty here, so we gotta just kind of accept what happened and move on. Tutty right there. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Any update on T Higgins? Okay, he'll be fine. He might be off a little bit of time, but he'll be fine. So, we're good on that one. Let's go, boy. Alright, first down 10, boys. First down 10. Let's get it. Come on, boys. Get after the quarterback is all we gotta do here. Okay, quick pass. Jay Jettis. We already knew that was coming. Alright, second down three here, boys. Second down three. Come on. I feel more confident to go one-on-one because -on -one we're not playing Tyree Kill this week. I mean, don't get me wrong. Yeah, Jay Jettis is still scary, but he's not Tyree Kill. Yeah, I don't have to worry about him busting away a 60-yard touchdown any given play against us. You know, I, he could still get open and make some really good catches, but when I run man, I'm more, you know, less scared with Jay Jettis than Tyree Kill. Freaking J Tyree Kill is just broken, man. Tyree Kill is, like, not real. I swear, like, he's almost like a video game character in real life. That's kind of how I look at Tyree Kill. He's like a video game character in real life. Like, watching him play and just, like, playing him as a man, you're like, yeah, you know what, this makes sense. It's a video game. And then you watch him in real life, and he's exactly the same. You're like, well, I thought this was a video game. <laughs> this felt like a video game type aspect, but on third and one, we get a sack, knocking him out of field goal range. Let's go, baby. Let's go. All right, we're about to play this a little bit conservative because we're up 7 nothing here. And I, I'll i be honest with you, I just want to get a W today. <laughs> with how this year has gone so far and with all these games we have played, I mean, we have played a lot of playoff teams this year. I kind of just want to get a W. And I've been playing so aggressive this game so far. And I, I don't think we need another overtime game for us. Yeah, that, just get out, please. Thank you. Orlando Brown got hurt again. I say I don't want to play aggressive, and then I play aggressive, and then I get somebody hurt. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing, boys? All right. They're down 12 here. They almost sack me. I get the ball off. And TB on the big screen, baby. TB on the big screen. Orlando Brown has a dislocated shoulder. Okay, that's fantastic. He's out for this game, and he's going to be out for a couple games moving forward. He was already hurt going into last week's game. We did play him, which was a questionable decision, I will say. But we decided to do it anyway. And now that's going to be questionable. I should have waited on that throw, by the way. I had more time to wait once I ran around there. I should probably have waited, but it is what it is. This is a tight end screen pass. I've never ran a tight end screen pass in Madden. Okay. Well, we got a block. That was actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought that was going to be a lot worse than it was. Alright. This should work like that. Yep. Little release play. A little late release. Alright. First down 10. Him with a little halfback draw action. They ain't going to see that coming. They saw it coming. Okay. I'll be honest with you. I love Orlando Brown. But I'm thinking about taking a left tackle in the next draft. I'm thinking about it. And it's not just because he just got injured, guys. It's just... I don't know. I kind of... This offensive line in general, right? So, Volson's contract is up this, this season. We have Kappa up this season. We're probably not going to bring those guys back. We're going to draft that. We already drafted a rookie right tackle a couple years ago. Like, we might just be kind of heading in that direction, you know? Kind of revamping the offensive line through the draft and, you know, get, getting a little bit, a couple, you know, upgrades here, right? So, it's a process, but I think we're going to have to try to figure something out, you know? That's really the whole thing here. And we can get a lot of value out of Elena Brown, you know, from, from trading him. So, we might think about doing something like that. That's kind of holding. That was kind of holding. My right tackle was getting beat on the play, and the right tackle was holding him. So, I, I wanted to roll out to get away from that so they wouldn't call the penalty flag. 
and yeah, it ended up not working the way I thought it was going to work out when I rolled out. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, it didn't go the way I wanted it to go. Alright, second half of football, we're up by 10 points, 10 nothing. You know, not bad first half, definitely not the offense we wanted. We could have felt like we could have scored a lot more in that first half, but you know what? We'll take what we can take, man. That's kind of our mindset, right? And at the end of the day, again, like I've always say, this is, you just gotta win. Just gotta come away from this game with a W, and that's pretty much all you can do at this point. Alright, first down and 10. It's gonna be a quick throw, incomplete, let's go. I will say overall wise, I'm not trying to jinx us here and knock one wood on this one, but Jay Jettis has not been that much of a problem today. I say that in hopes that he doesn't become a problem today, but I will say it's yeah, it's been definitely a pretty positive angle. Alright, third and ten here, boys. Let's get them off the field. And honestly, this Viking squad doesn't seem so dangerous. Well, compared to the other teams we have played against. Compared to the other teams, okay? You've seen this so far, that even this year alone. We have played some very dominant teams who have been so annoying against us. Like the Miami Dolphins, the Ravens, the Steelers, everyone. Like, we've not had an easy schedule. Makes sense, though, because we won our division last year and we made the playoffs. So, that's probably why. Alright. Just get a good drive here. That's kind of what I want. Just get a good long drive. Run some clock off and potentially get us to the fourth quarter here. I'm not sure if we can do that here, but that's going to be our goal moving forward. Just get out of this game with no more injuries, man. T got hurt at some point in this game. He's back. But Lena Brown is out. You know, DeAndre Hopkins is going to be out for multiple weeks. Like, we got so many injuries. I hate injuries so much in Madden. I hate him in real life, but I also hate him in Madden because it's just such an annoying factor, right? Because... You're like, okay, well, we have this guy, this guy, this guy. We have all these guys set up to be successful for this team. And then injuries just come in and go, nope, everything you thought you had, you no longer have. And now you're going to have to deal with not having those guys. And you're going to lose games because of it. I don't, I wouldn't say 100% though, we have lost any game 100% because of injuries. Um, even in the three seasons we have played so far i feel like all the games we have lost have been just either we got beat we got dominated or just was you know the other team was pretty dang good i don't think it's ever been like oh well we can't win because of injuries i mean i guess technically you could make the argument like the offensive line injuries stop you from running or throwing the ball as efficiently but eh, even with orlando brown out we still have 85 rushing yards today and we're still running the ball straight down this you know, Viking squad's throat right now and dominating them even with the fact we have offensive line out. So, I don't know if that really impacts that much, but it is what Alright, third and four here, boys. Let's go. Third and four. Rolling out. Come on, Chase. Thank you, Chase. Dude, Chase is so freaking good. I love Jamar Chase. That man just does everything I need whenever I need it. Like, I'm just like, guys, Chase, I'm going to throw it up to you. And double coverage, just please catch it and go down. He's like, all right, cool. 7-11, <laughs> always open, baby. It is always freaking open, man. All right, simple run play up the middle. we got fourth quarter here. This drives everything we wanted it to be. Like, if, like I said going into the drive, we wanted to run the ball, right? Get to the fourth quarter. Run the clock. Wear down this defense. Everything we wanted to do, except for right now, score a touchdown so far, we have done... And on an excellent level here. And there we go. Exactly what we wanted there, boys. Exactly what we wanted. Like, so far, this is pure domination by us on every front. Defense, offense, offensive line, you know, pretty much everything. I mean, the only thing we haven't really dominated on as much is the receiving core. But, I mean, we did throw an interception. And we did take a lot of shots today. But we haven't been perfect. But, honestly, we've been good enough. Really, we have been good enough. So, just don't allow this team to come back. But with our run game popping as much as it is, I'm very confident. As long as we don't allow stupid stuff like this where they just literally go right down the field on us and score a touchdown because there still is four minutes to go in this game. And we've already choked away a 21-point lead in the game, you know, last year. So, get a turnover, maybe cause a stop again. 
get the ball back, give us the chance to run this clock off. Because if we get the ball back up 17-0, this game's over. We're going to run the clock out. Like, that's not even a question. And Baker's running. Okay. I mean, he's running clock. That's I'll give it that. If anything that's positive for us is he's running clock too. And when he's down 17 nothing, he can't really run clock here. All right, third and inches. Quick throw. And Logan Wilson could not cover TJ Hawkinson. And now TJ Hawkinson has a first down. All right, first down 10, boys. Come on. Come on, boys. We gotta shut him down. Let's not allow any points. That would be fantastic. I don't know how logical that is, though. Alright, they're going no huddle. We're gonna switch to a zone coverage. Let's switch to a zone here. And incomplete. Let's go. Alright. Second and goal here. I'm gonna quarterback spy him. Just in case he takes off running here. I was just about to say, I think he's going to throw the ball. Oh, my. Mike Hilton, not only did he stop that touchdown, I thought he was going to get an interception there. I honestly thought Mike Hilton was about to get an interception there. He stopped the touchdown, but I thought it was also going to be an uh, interception. And another incomplete pass, man. This defense wants this shutout so bad. This defense wants this shutout so freaking bad. I mean, listen, this defense this year has been a problem. And you know what? They're they're trying their best here to dominate and get it done. Oh, and they give up a tutty. They give up a tutty, man. I felt the passion there for that defense. They went for an onside kick. They didn't get the onside kick back. So now we start almost in money max field goal range, which is actually pretty dang nice. But at this point, we just, our goal is to run this clock. And run this game out, man. That's our goal right now. Don't give the defense the ball back right away. Just run this ball. Oh, we're going to see outside here. Oh, that's GG, man. That is so close to GG, boy. All right, third and inches here. Third and inches. We're going to run the ball up the middle. Hit him with a run play. And that hole opened up freaking amazingly. That completely... It's like Moses split the seas, bro. We split the, sle the, the seas with that run. All right. First down 10. Another run play. Another timeout by them. They have one timeout left. A first down here will kill this game and end this game, boys. And Volson... Oh, Volson tried to get a tackle. And great. Another offensive lineman got hurt. Another lineman got hurt in the play. Fan freaking tastic. All right. Play action pass. Okay. All right. It looks like he'll be fine. I mean, we're going to go for it here. Because I don't see a reason not to. Like, again, the first down ends it. So, might as well just end it here, man. <laughs> might as well just end the game. Right? That's just like no point not to at this point. Like, in that situation, is it nice to get a field goal, you know, maybe go up by 13? Yeah. But if we get it, the game's over. If we don't get it, we're still up by 10. Still a two-score game no matter what. They're still going to need an onside kick and a touchdown. So, might as well just, you know, go for it and end the game rather than giving them a chance with the ball back. I mean, at that point, I'm trusting that we can get four yards over, you know, giving them another chance with the ball for... You know, crazy Hail Mary or something. Um, or cr crazy P.I. We had a really good run day. 116 yards and a touchdown for Joe Mixon. I mean, pretty all-around great day. The defense tried so hard not to allow any points in this game. We almost got a shutout. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.